Welcome to the So Long for So Lingerie, Madeline's first book with everything you need to know to make your own bras, panties, bodysuits, swimsuits, and even activewear. In this So Long, I'll be going over everything from what fabrics you should have cut out, what pattern pieces you should have cut out for which fabrics, as well as all sewing steps. I won't be going over anything fit related. If you need help with fit, you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me on madeline.com. CNT Publishing also has an online learning platform called Create a Spark that will have more in-depth tutorials on some of the techniques in the book. Now, before we get into the sew along, I first want to go over what Madeline does and what we offer here out of our super cool studio in Philadelphia. Madeline is a woman-owned, that's me, Philadelphia-based lingerie brand offering DIY lingerie. Yes, there's a kit for the projects in the books. We're all making workshops both in person and online. Tutorials, just like this one, as well as a ready-made lingerie. What is ready-made lingerie? Basically, it is lingerie that we sew for you. So if you have a sister, a mom, a friend, whoever, who loves your made lingerie, but you don't wanna make it for them, and I don't blame you, we have a team of sewers that will sew it for them based off of measurements. In this video, I'll be going over all the sewing steps for the Brooklyn Bralettes. Even though I won't be getting into fits, I did wanna call out one fit technique that is key for a bralette to fit larger cup sizes. The Brooklyn Bralette is available in sizes extra small to 5X, and that is based off of an A to C cup. If you are larger than a C cup, you may have to combine sizes. So you may be cutting out a 2X front for the front bralette cups and an extra small for the back bands. First, let's go over what pattern pieces you should have cut out, as well as what fabrics and elastic you should have cut out for each pattern piece. There is center front bralette A, side front bralette B, side panel C, center back bralette D. Those are the fabric pattern pieces. I will get to the elastic pattern pieces after I go over the fabric. For center front bralette A, Side front bralette B, center back bralette D, you should have the main fabric and the lining fabric. Now in the book, it says that you should use a temporary spray adhesive to spray base the main fabric and the lining fabric together. And you will treat them as one layer uh, for sewing them together. Now that is assuming that you have a serger. Now, let's just say you don't have a serger. A lot of new sewists, bra makers, don't have a serger. Um, there is a technique to how to sew the seams without a serger. So for this tutorial, I have uh, one center front bralette and side front bralette cup with the main fabric and the lining fabric spray basted together. And then one uh, center front bralette and side front bralette with them not spray basted together so that I could demonstrate both of those techniques. For the side panel, you can have a main fabric and a lining fabric just like the other pattern pieces, or you can do a combo fabric. What I like about the Brooklyn Bralette and this side panel is that it gives the opportunity to add a little pop of color or maybe a different pattern. So for this sew along, I am just using a single layer of a coral mesh. Now let's go over the elastics you have cut out. For the elastics, you should have cut out the wide band elastic E. I have this decorative elastic band. Also, two of the strap elastics F, which is this Pico strap elastic. Other elastic that you will need is the fold over elastic, which I don't pre-cut. So you can just have this in a long strip. That'll be okay. See the fold over elastic that has the little indentation that's what makes it fold over elastic. And other hardware that you will need are rings and sliders to match your strap elastic. I have these silver rings and sliders. First step in sewing is to sew this vertical seam on the bralette cups. On the left side, this side, I am going to be demonstrating it. If you have the main fabric and the lining fabric spray basted together and you are gonna serge the seam allowances. On the right side, I'm gonna be demonstrating how to sew this seam. If you don't have a serger and will be clean finishing the seam allowances inside the seam. 
I'll start with the easier side, the left side. If you are, if the main fabric and the lining fabric are spray basted together, really easy. You're gonna place right sides together. Pin along the seam. Now I did not mark the notches, but if you did mark the notches, you will mark the notches first, make sure that they are aligned, and then pin it along the vertical seam. If you don't have a serger and will be clean finishing the seam allowances inside the seam, first step is that either the side front or the center front bralette cup. Uh, you will have the main fabric and the lining fabric is underneath. You will take the main fabric of the other piece and you will place it on top so that right sides are together. Again, if you mark the notches, then you will align the notches. Pin along the seam. Then flip it over. And you're gonna place the lining right sides together with the other lining fabric. And then repin it along the vertical seam. So the right sides of the main fabric are facing and the right sides of the lining fabrics are facing. For both of these, you are going to sew it with a straight stitch, quarter of an inch seam allowance, back stitch at beginning and end. Vertical seam on bralette cups are sewn. For the one that is not serged, you will watch this magic happen. So if you fold the lining to the one side, you can see that the seam allowances are encased inside the seam. Such a beautiful finish. For the side that is serged, you just Fold them to the right side or fold them out. Question that you might be thinking is that, can I iron these seams? In bra making, in lingerie making, in swimwear and activewear, you can iron your seams open or closed. It is just super important that you use a synthetic setting, assuming that's and 99% of the time, you are using a synthetic fabric. So quick answer, yes, you can use steam. Just make sure that your iron is on the setting that matches your fabric. Next is that you are going to attach the side panel and the back band in the same manner that you did for the vertical cup. So if you searched it, do the same thing with the side panel as well as the back bands. If you clean finish, you will do the same uh, method that you did. All of the bralette pieces are sewn together. Even though I told you to attach the side panel on the back band using the same method as the vertical seam, I did it differently because I wanted to show you one other way that you can finish seam allowances um, if you do or don't have a serger. So let's just say that you didn't want to clean finish the seam. You just don't have the patience for that. I don't want to take the extra step. Um, but you have a serger, but you don't really want to use a serger. Whatever the case. Another option is that you can just push the seam allowances, either iron or finger press them towards one side and do a nice top stitch down. I did a zigzag stitch. Now, the sewer in you, it might say, oh, I just can't have my seam allowances raw. In lingerie, most often the fabrics do not fray. So if you do a really nice top stitch, it can look just as nice. So did want to give you, uh, show you that option. I like to give you the information so that you can make an informed decision for yourself. So at the end of this uh, video, your bralette pieces should be all together. In the next video, we will start sewing the fold over elastic, attaching the back band or the bottom bands, as well as the shoulder straps.